This water body is the first place we ever actually found the frog. So this swamp that we're in at the moment is actually quite large, but the species only occurs quite patchily, um, and this is one of the areas we get it in. Uh, you can actually hear behind me now the red groin froglet, uh, but the other that's quite boisterous behind me here is our new species. Very exciting, and hopefully we can find a couple out and about tonight. This is the this is the difficulty in finding these frogs. We know it's somewhere just down over in front of me, within a foot or two, but it could be anywhere under these leaves in, in this leaf litter. We've really got to use that core and hone in on the core and use a process called triangulation to really locate where it is. So we've just found uh, our first little calling males, very exciting. Uh, as you can see here, it's a spectacular little beast. Um, only small, it's surprising that something so small could create such a loud noise that you can hear all around me. Um, but believe it or not, these little boys do that. Uh, you can actually see if I flip him over on his belly that they get, believe it or not, even more spectacular in markings. The belly is almost marbled black and white, which is very unusual for this genus. It's one of the first things that I noticed and knew straight away or that it was a new species and it's in fact the um, defining characteristic of what makes this morphologically so unique. It's that beautiful marbled black and white belly there that you can see, um, which is just spectacular. We will have seen from how hard it was for us to find him that they're actually very good at camouflaging themselves and so their first line of defence is to actually be under those, those leaves in the leaf litter and to not be seen. But if a predator was to find him and uh, discover him, the idea is that as he leaps to get away, his legs shoot out and all of a sudden there's this brilliant flash of colour and that supposedly startles uh, the predator. So unfortunately because the frog only seems to occur in these coastal sandbed swamps, um, in quite a restricted distribution, it means it's probably under threat from things like coastal developments because, of course, everybody wants to live on the coast where these sand swamps occur and it's where often uh, developments go in and also sand mining. So it's restricted distribution along with its habitat specificity probably places it a little bit at risk.